Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, the end of April, and we are going on the coolest adventure ever. We are headed to Universal Studios. I think I have to change my socks.
host of the Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon. Guys, say hello to Jimmy. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy. Yeah. And the greatest driver. Teresa. They're the best. I love them. Even though yeah. she owes me five bucks. How are you not? I know you guys are excited to get on the tour, but first, a few safety rules. Yeah, let's talk about safety. First things first. The tour actually begins right here. We're about to jump through the movie timeline. Chronicles our history from 1914 all the way to the present. Here at Universal, we first opened our doors March 15th, 1915. On your screens, pictures I took of our opening day. That's our founder. Carl Lemley in the tuxedo, check him out, he's super pumped up here. He was excited. He had dreamed of building a city for movie making, it finally happened and he told everybody, I just wanna make movies that will make audiences laugh, cry, sit on the edge of their seats. 106 years later, here we are still doing it. This poster timeline celebrates that history. We try to pick out a great movie from almost every year that we've been on the property, maybe, you'll see some favorites. One of my favorites is the 1989 baseball fantasy Field of Dreams starring Kevin Costner. It was nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. It lost to one of my least favorite Best Picture winners, Driving Miss Daisy, which is a, a, a cool movie where all of these scenes happened. Back to the Future, Jurassic Park, The Grinch, Serenity, Live Free or Die Hard, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean series, all filmed stage 12. About the size of a football field in there, much smaller to your left, these stages used for episodes of Murder, She Wrote, Matlock, Ghost Whisperer, Desperate Housewives, Dirty John, and all five seasons of Superstore with America Ferreira. I know it's hot in here, but let's have some patience for one another. Yeah, you know, the heat makes us all act. If your face stays where it is, it's gonna get punched. Here's the thing. You can film in a real store somewhere if you wanna do that. But a TV show films eight months out of a year. That's a long time to take over someone's business. The goal every time we build a set and a stage is to build a more convenient filmmaking environment. And we definitely had that with Superstore. You don't want to deal with the circumstances of the real world. So you'll build a set inside of a controlled environment like a stage. By the way, Superstore also films to your left. Stage 21 where, oh guys, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little flustered. Look at that Vin Diesel. He's just looking right at us. That is, wow, look at those muscles. Are you seeing this? Guys, he worked very hard in Photoshop to get those muscles to look that good. Well, at least four hours. Just saying. I, I must admit, I've seen Vin Diesel film in Fast and Furious on the back lot. When you roll by, you know which trailer is his because it has a gym attached special trailer just for working out he's got to look big and intimidating for dom toretto so it makes sense to me i i wish the tour guides had a gym to look pumped up for our gig but we're not supposed to look intimidating like dom toretto stage 21 also used for apollo 13 jurassic park john carpenter's the thing so some great things inside of that one too and on your right rolling by stage 41 we're busy here right now with gaslight starring sean penn and julia roberts Next door, AP Bio, starring Ben Howerton, just wrapped up all four seasons of The Good Place with Kristen Bell and Ted Danson. We call this the sitcom alleyway because some of the best sitcoms of all time have happened here. Like the Jeffersons, Silver Spoons, Different Strokes, Who's the Boss, Coach, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. At Universal, we're not just a movie studio, we do everything. We are actually NBC Universal. Under that umbrella, channels like Bravo, Sci-Fi, USA, Telemundo, MSNBC, CNBC, NBC.com, Golf Channel, The Weather Channel. So if you watch television, thank you for your accidental support. We appreciate it.
That's Ted on your left star, Ted and Ted too. Not the guy on the phone, the teddy bear. Six like the Sting, the Blues Brothers, Dirty Harry. Favorite Savine, Payback with Mel Gibson, Castaway with Tom Hanks, Dick Tracy with Warren Beatty, Blade with Wesley Snipes. The whole block used recently for episodes of American Ninja Warrior. Swap not just about showing you amazing movie sets, it's also about immersing you into the landscape of your favorite cinematic realms. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. why around in this corner, I'm taking you to Skull Island, home of King Kong. 2005, director Peter Jackson beautifully remade King Kong. I asked him, I said, hey, Peter, why did you make King Kong again? He said... It's the original King Kong that, that made me want to direct movies. I saw that movie on TV when I was about eight or nine years old. And I wanted to become a filmmaker. <laughs> And right now, we are going to immerse ourselves into that King Kong realm. Get your 3D glasses ready. The glasses are ready. built for stunt sequences in the case of back to the future retro and future active the very eco-friendly vehicles of the flintstones they're fully foot powered it's a car of the future even though it's a car of the past and finally too fast too furious with its mazda rx7 nissan skyline very rare cars in the u.s even and then there's the Jurassic World gyrosphere. There's a reason these cars are next to each other. Fast and Furious, Jurassic World are two most successful franchises. Every time Fast and Furious movie comes out, breaks records. Every time a Jurassic World movie comes out, breaks records. They're always trying to outdo each other. They're just side by side. Eventually, they're going to have to meet in the middle, and we'll finally get Dom Toretto battling a T-Rex. You know you want this, guy. A lot of you freaked out just because you had rain. What's the forecast, Al Roker? Everybody, here's today's forecast for the Universal Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry in Six Points, Texas. Cool and cloudy in Little Europe. Expect snow and sleep on New York Street. And we've got a high chance of fog and precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Island du Blanc. That's your forecast for today. Now here's a look at what's going on in your neck of the lot. Our neck of the lot. Flood warning. Okay. I don't think so. Blue skies. It's sunny. I don't have any floods coming out. Never mind. I should never question Al. He's usually right. That's a lot of water. Guys, look out back right there. It's coming around the bend. The surf is. 
backside air to a floaty back down into the barrel and get pitted, bro. Any other surfers? 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 No, another one? All right. We're, we're territorial, so we just look for each other, you know? Yeah. Keep looking to your left. We do have our, our amazing Mexico area that was featured in Nacho Libre with Jack Black. It was the town of Pariah and HBO's acclaimed Westworld. Big moment. This town ain't big enough for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Well, I ain't going anywhere, Jimmy Fallon. Now look here. Not pushing this tram, don't want no trouble. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal lot. I heard this where John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. It's a new Mindy Kaling show. Look to your left, you'll see a lot of activity for a currently filming home improvement series called Home and Family. Here's a look at it. Hey, Universal Studios fans, I'm Cameron Matheson. And I'm Debbie Matt Novelis from the Emmy-nominated television show Home and Family. Join us as we go behind the scenes with your favorite actors, musicians, and celebrity chefs. Plus, amazing DIYs, fun fashions, and so much more. Make sure to watch Home and Family on Hallmark Channel every weekend. And that'll bring us all the way here in the stage 50 where we have a subway station. Subways are near impossible to film inside of, so we built our very own. On your screen, you're seeing it in an episode of Bones. But right now, nothing, nothing close to Bones. This is a totally different thing. Don't be terrified. It's okay. We caught the shark. There it is right there, dangling above the dock. No more problems. Let's go to the beach. Let's crack open the white claw and get crazy. Like we always do. Wait a minute. There is a shark. It looks bigger. Well, thank goodness no one's swimming here today. Oh, great. There's Scuba Steve. Of course he'd be swimming here today. He's fine. I'm worried about us. Uh, that shark's under the dock. It's looking right at me. Uh, what, what is... Oh, no. It's going for the gas tanks. We're going to have an explosion on our hands. Everyone hit the deck. More heat. That's what we need. Where's the shark? Anyone seen it? It's right there. Oh my goodness. Second car. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger boat. I know. I felt that fire. That's a famous one. You're after a shark so big with such a tiny boat. So we got to put this in a movie. we got to reference this to the audience. So one day they just decided to film it. And it quickly became the most memorable line in Universal Studios movie history. But making Jaws was no fun because they had a shark that refused to work. 
that's a much maligned shark. The shark was frustrating. It, it didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hardly at all. Wherever you were on the island, you could hear the radio mics. They were. We have very nice homes and neighborhoods because filming in real homes and neighborhoods is tricky. On your left, Colonial Street, which maybe you know best as Wisteria Lane from Desperate Housewives. Also seen in television shows like The Munsters, Leave It to Beaver, Matlock. Movies like The Burbs with Tom Hanks, Deep Impact with Elijah Wood, Harvey with Jimmy Stewart. American Graffiti, it's the yellow one, that's the car that beats Harrison Ford in a quarter mile drag race. Pretty sweet hot rod right there. These cars are not Decepticons. If they were, they would destroy us because the Decepticons are ruthless, just like from the 1960 masterpiece, Psycho. American Film Institute says Psycho is the most suspenseful movie ever made. We go right by the Make the area look nice and neat for the next production. In the case of Paramount's War of the Worlds, it was going to cost them millions of dollars to pick up these parts and move them off property. They called and asked if we wouldn't mind keeping it. We said, sure, why not? We'll make it part of our tour. That's why this is still here. Normally that would not be the case. Here's production designer Rick Carter and director Steven Spielberg. This is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around Envision the student. We first began to sit down and talk about the world. Yeah. That thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just as remind. Look over here to your right as we exit the area. There's a huge blue backdrop. There's normally a bunch of water out there in front of the blue, giving out the illusion that you're in a massive body of water. Here it is on your screens as the Hudson River in Sully with Tom Hanks. Evacuate. You'll see Tom Cruise out there for a scene in Top Gun Maverick whenever that comes out. I don't know, they keep moving the date around, so probably late November, Top Gun Maverick, you'll see that. Also used for Bruce Almighty, Outdoors, starring John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. I usually watch that movie to start off the summer. It feels like the summer today, so I might as well watch it right now. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service, and as of 16.9 seconds ago, I'm the man in charge. The hell you are. Let me clue you in on two things, sweet cheeks. One, there's a high value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. And two, an international crime syndicate led by Owen Shaw is honing in on this vehicle to take that witness out. Shaw's as ruthless as they come. He'll stop at nothing to eliminate his target. Every living soul on this vehicle is in serious danger. Other than that, Enjoy the ride. Roman, we're up. 
driver, move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. My Mona Lisa's all warmed up right next door. Roman, grab your truck. I need you and Levin ready to roll. All right, everybody, you got those three glasses. We're gonna use them as safety goggles because it looks like we're about to get involved pretty heavy duty here. We're gonna be a decoy to lure Owen Shaw closer once that happens. Luke, Letty, Roman, and Dom will jump into assist. This vehicle has nitrous. We'll use it, so we're being seated. I'm gonna get Shaw's attention. Hey, uh, hey Shaw, it's Jeff. I got a witness here for you. Which one of you is the witness? Speak now, or you all get fried! This is our turn. After them! Okay, guys, it's your time! Give yourself a round of applause and keep it going for driver Teresa. Ooh. Guys, go crazy for